I knew this day would come. After all these years, his eyes are finally open. And he's looking at me. He's squeezing my hand. I can feel him. Those are reflexive actions of his brainstem. I have been coming here for 14 years, sitting by his side, waiting for him to look at me. And he is. People have been known to wake up from comas, yes. But that's not Jacob. He remains in a persistent vegetative state. He's not in there, Annie. How can you say that? I, I mean, how can you know, truly? This is the miracle I've been waiting for. My husband's back. And now you have to make him whole again. I flew all the way from Chicago for this. Sam, come on. I'm sorry, it's just... Your father's still in there, trying to talk to us, trying to communicate with us. But he's not. I mean, why can't you see that? He, he's gone. Mom, we know how badly you want Dad to still be here. We miss him, too, but these are just involuntary movements. You know, at this point, we're all doing involuntary movements. You haven't been here. Neither of you have been here enough to see that these are different. Are these different? No. D -d Does our father show any signs of, uh, what is it, higher brain function? No. And you told us 14 years ago that it takes more than a beating heart to declare someone alive, so is my father alive? He has no cerebral cortical function, so I would have to say no. You listen to him, Mom, please. He told us this 14 years ago. He just said it again. How much longer do we have to be stuck at this never-ending wake? Sam's right, Mom. It looks so real. <sighs> we all want it to be real. It just isn't. What would... Um happen if we were to, uh, to let him go. We would remove his uh, feeding tube. His body would be deprived of nutrients and within few days his organs would start to fail. But I assure you that he would not experience any pain or suffering. <laughs> He could hear us. He knew what we were talking about. He was begging for us to stop. Mom, please. Annie, that was an expulsion of air over his vocal cords. Just a reflex, like his eye movements. I can't believe I almost made the biggest mistake of my life. Dr. Kapoor, how long could he live if she kept the feeding tube in? Conservative guess, another 20 years. I can't do this another 20 years. I can't. Goodbye, Mom. You're leaving? I don't, I don't know what else to do. He's my husband. He was. He was your husband. He was my father. I swear it's like you both died that day. Sam, your mother... Now she's tethered herself to this bed, never leaving the burrow, never getting to know her grandchildren. It's 14 years wasted, and for what? I'm not removing his feeding tube. Yeah, well. Dr. Kapoor, something's wrong with Jacob. Wheelchair to admitting, wheelchair to admitting. I only had my eyes closed for a moment, and when I woke, he was like this. You have to do something, you have to bring him back. Annie, there is nothing I can do. Surely there's... Something, he, he was improving. He wasn't. 
Whether his eyes are closed or open, whether he's squeezing your hand or sleeping, Jacob is not here. He never was. He's all I have left. May I? Your mother loves you very much. She barely knows me. Or my kids. She gave up everything after Dad's accident. My wife died several years ago. And I would have done anything to bring her back. I cannot imagine if she was still breathing in front of my very eyes. As a neurologist, I know your father is dead. His soul is gone. But even I would find it difficult to say goodbye. Your mother sees that. She's trapped between life and death. She wants to move on. She wants to let go. So why can't she? Because she has pushed you both away. If she lets your father go once and for all, she believes she'll be truly alone. you to be a part of our life, your life. Just want our mom back. Thank <laughs> you. 